Hi. I have been challenged by my dear friends Chef John and Rebecca at Cast Iron Skillet Kitchen who very kindly sent me this apron some time ago which I uh, wear now and again. Um, I've been challenged to make um, a Halloween type treat out of a cereal and marshmallows. So I've got some marshmallows here and I've got, I couldn't get Fruit Loops, but I, I believe they are available in the UK, but I couldn't find any. Uh, but I've got these um, multi-grain shapes of blueberry and apple, which I thought the blueberry ones looked kind of blood red, so they'd probably be okay for Halloween. So that'll be a bit of fun. So uh, challenge accepted and uh, let's get started, eh? So there's only a couple of ingredients in here. I've got um, two 200 gram bags of marshmallows. Which I'm putting into that um, plastic bowl. You can use plastic or glass for this because it's going in the microwave. They want to stick me and the bowl and the, the packaging. Into that I'm going to chuck some generous knobs of butter. Knobs, knobs and knobs. So it's about that much butter. Don't ask me what the weight is. There are three knobs of butter. And I'm going to put in uh, some vanilla extract. This is Madagascan vanilla, Dr. Ertka. And I'm just going to put in about a teaspoon of that, maybe a little more. And then I'll take that away and I'm going to microwave that a few seconds at a time until I've turned it into a paste. But I'll, I'll microwave it a few seconds, stir it, microwave it a few seconds and stir it until it turns into a sugary marshmallowy paste. So it took me just two 30 second bursts to get to this stage and now I'm just mixing it to make sure all this butter mixes in well. But that looked pretty good to me. I don't think I need to, uh, I don't think I need to microwave that anymore. It's taken the butter a while to melt in but it's melting in nonetheless. So the next stage is to mix in some of these fruity shapes. And I think I'm going to put most of those in. I'll mix in a few at a time and then the other half in a minute once I know where I am. This is a sticky sweet mess and I know my brother is going to love this. I don't have a sweet tooth much at all but well, my brother will enjoy this. In fact I think the chance of this surviving 24 hours after it's been um, made is pretty slim really. Add in a few more in. That should do it. So I'm doing this by eye, don't ask me for make weights and measures, it's a treat, you know. I'm sure you can all do something like this at home, because it's that easy. If you've got the sweet tooth, or if you've got a sweet tooth in the house, you'll know what I mean. I think that's as much cereal as I want to add. So I'm pretty happy with that and it smells absolutely fantastic. The blueberry and apple smell is coming off fine from these. So uh, certainly it smells fantastic and we all like marshmallows. So I'm sure it's going to be pretty good. Right, I have buttered this pan. 
I know you can't see it all that well, but I've butted it all up and up the sides and all I have to do now is to spoon this unholy mess into there and then even it out. <laughs> I don't deal very much with sweet stuff and like I said I don't have a sweet tooth but um, I must admit it does smell good. It does smell good. I think the flavourings and colourings in these um, in this particular cereal are a little, a little more natural than the ones you see in the, the Fruit Loops. So I think I'm, I feel a bit better about making this sugary mess. Mm. I know Rebecca's laughing at me now. She's going to be <laughs> laughing her head off at this. I hope I've got it right. Anyway, I think I've got it right. It, it looks right. It looks about right. And then I'm just pressing all this down. But um, this this will be quite a nice treat. I know it will. I can tell. But it's messy. It's very messy, boys and girls. And if you like messy, you're all right. So I think I've got now. I've got to really press that down. Apparently. It just wants to keep coming away with my spatula. So I'm going to kind of leave it like that. And all I have to do now is apply time to it because you don't have to bake this. This, um, this kind of just sets it by itself as the uh, marshmallow cools down so that is how I'm going to leave it I think and then we'll let that um, cool down and set and then uh, I'll give it a try hey guys I hope you're enjoying the video so far uh, if you want to help me out with the donation there's a uh, links uh, donation links below to uh, paypal subscribe star and buy me a coffee uh, meanwhile the thumbs up and the, your comments below help a lot thanks ever so much thanks in advance okay so that's it cooled off and set right i'm hoping they don't make a complete mess of this and uh, to preserve my non-stick pan, I'm going in with a wooden uh, spatula to try and cut it up. So, how am I going to do this? I think I'll do it by halving. It looks like it wants to come up easy enough. Okay, right, I'll lift one out and we'll do a little taste test. Ooh. Give that a go. Okay, taste test. Now, they're quite sticky. Mmm. That's quite nice. That actually took me by surprise. Mmm. Mmm. Another bite. Mmm. I'll probably need to leave that to firm up for a little longer. But um, the taste actually took me by surprise. There's a definite taste of the blueberry and apple fruit in there. And, and there's a gorgeous crunch and and of course it's all bound together by that gorgeous marshmallow there'll be a link to um, John and Rebecca's channel cast iron skillet kitchen in 
in the description below this video and also in the cards on YouTube only. Um, make sure you um, give them a visit and uh, tell them I sent you. Rather pleased with that.